Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Espinosa, and I'm back again with my friend Ice. We listened to Mrs. Eames' lesson and read aloud about Schubert's big voice, and we thought, wow, that's really important, and you need a lot of courage to use a big voice. So we picked out one of our favorite stories to read to you today to help you use your big voice. A Little Spot of Courage, a story about being brave, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Hi, I'm a Courage Spot. I'm here to help you do something that is challenging or difficult, especially when you're afraid. You might see me when you are brave too. I thought superheroes were the only people who showed courage. How can I show courage? You might have thought of superheroes when I said the word courage, but here are some real heroes who grow their courage spot every day by keeping us safe. You don't need to wear a cape to have courage. Courage is inside of us all, and we can do small or large acts of courage every day. You may not see the effects of your courage right away, but I can tell you that every act of courage, big or small, makes a positive difference in this world. That's why we want to grow our courage spot as big as we can. One way we can do this is by creating courage cards. Reading these cards provides inspiration to do more acts of courage. Courage card, every time you do an act of courage, write it here. Courage might look heroic on the outside, but on the inside, it may feel like a worry or frustration. Courage isn't something that makes us not scared. It's something that helps us overcome worries. In addition to your courage spot, your confidence spot will be able to help too. The more you believe in yourself, the easier it will become to show courage. Try repeating this to yourself every morning. Today is a new day. I will have a great start. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will let good thoughts inside my mind and tell myself I am brave, I am loving, I am kind. There are times you might avoid a safe situation because you are worried or scared. This is when your anxiety spot grows a lot and it doesn't make you feel very good. That's why you want to try to grow your courage spot every day. Courage card. I was worried before I went to the party because I didn't know that many people, but I ended up having a great time. Now, remember, we talked about what we can do with that anxiety spot and turning it into a positive spot. Don't forget, you can always use your hand and say this little poem when you're feeling like you need some courage. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot say. Stay, take a deep breath and blow it away. Look at some times when you both wrote on your courage cards, like when an accident happened and you had the courage to be honest. Courage card, I told my parents I broke the vase playing soccer in the house. Or when you were both scared at the doctor's office, you learned that doctors are there to help keep you healthy and you had the courage to stay calm. Courage card, I went to the doctor today and I wasn't scared at all. I even got a sticker. Courage card, I was a little scared to go to the doctor's office, but the doctor made me feel better. Remember when those kids were laughing when someone fell and they tried to get you to laugh too, and you knew it was wrong, and you had the courage to say, no, are you okay? That was a rough fall. Let me help you. Courage card, I didn't follow the crowd, and I helped someone in need. 
You did a great job helping the new student feel welcomed when no one else did. You had courage to be kind. Hi, you can sit next to me. Courage card. I was kind to the new girl in school today and showed her around. Those clothes you had on yesterday were pretty awesome. It was great to see you had courage to be who you are. Courage card. I wore my favorite outfit, even though it didn't really match. Courage card. I wore my favorite bow tie today, even though I was worried my friends wouldn't like it. When you had to get up on stage, you first wrote out your worries before the event. That gave you courage to manage your emotions. Courage card, I sang in front of a large crowd for the first time. I saw you had a hard time learning a new skill. You had courage to be resilient and try again. Courage card, art was really hard, but I kept trying. All great art starts with a scribble. I was proud to see when you shared that you didn't understand. I bet you helped out other kids too. You had courage to ask questions. Courage card, I helped the teacher. I asked the teacher for help today. And I saw how intimidated you both were trying out for the basketball team, but you had courage to make friends and try something new. Courage card, I tried out for the basketball team. Courage card, I tried out for the team again. Do you remember when you were learning to tie your shoes? And even though you were frustrated, you had courage to keep trying. This is hard. I can do this. I did it. Courage card, tying my shoes was hard, but I didn't give up. Riding your bike was pretty challenging. You fell a dozen times, but you kept getting up. You had courage to persevere. Courage card, I learned how to ride my bike. I was so excited when you finally realized scary shadows were not scary after all, and you had the courage to manage your fear. Courage card, I could sleep without my light on. Courage card, I had fun making shadow puppets in the dark. I was happy when you discovered that your taste buds are constantly changing. What you didn't like to eat last week could be your favorite food this week. You had the courage to try new food. Courage card, I tried red bell peppers tonight and I actually liked them. Courage card, I tried papaya and it tasted yummy. I was delighted when you were able to take small steps to achieve your goal. You had the courage to try. Courage card, I was able to make it halfway on the monkey bars. I was glad when you were determined to find the owner of the item you found in the park. You had the courage to do the right thing. Courage card, I found a watch and then looked for the owner. Wow, look at all these courage cards. Try reading them throughout the week to inspire you to do more acts of courage. How can you show courage this week? So Ice and I were talking and we thought about the story with Schubert. When he was feeling so nervous and scared, he had to remind himself, you are safe, you can handle this, and remember to star. And then he was able to find the courage to use his big voice and talk to the kid who took his apple. You see, here he is. He took that big breath and he found his courage and he used his words. He uses words like, I don't like it when you, and you need to. Ice and I talked about sometimes at our house when we think we might have to use that big voice. Like, I don't know about at your house, but Ice and his brother or sister sometimes have trouble grabbing toys from each other or taking toys before someone is finished. We've been practicing saying, I don't like it when you grab my toy. You need to ask first and wait for me to finish and I will hand it to you. That happens a lot at our house. We get excited and we grab. So we have to remember to ask first, but when it happens and we're upset, 
we try to use our words. Sometimes too, Ice and his brother and sister, they get a little upset and they end up hitting or pushing or maybe pinching, right? That happens, I'm sure, at your house. So Ice and his brother and sister have been practicing saying, I don't like it when you hit me. It hurts when you hit. You need to use words and tell me what you want or ask me something. Like say to me, hey, are you finished with that marker yet? Or, hmm, I think I was going to play with that now. Can I have it back? Remember, your words can help. This was our favorite part of Mrs. Eames' story. When Miss his bookbinder told Schubert, we're all magic. Ugh, Ice loves this part because, hello, Ice is a magical dragon. And he loves knowing that we all have magic. So she said, we just need to believe in ourselves and our other and others, right? So we have to believe that our words are powerful and magic. And also that our brothers and sisters or cousins or friends, their words are also powerful and magic. So here's what Schubert said. My words have power. Stop. I don't like it are powerful words to say. And I can use them every day. It's magic I can use every day. And just like in our book, it said, today is a new day. I will have a great start. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will let good thoughts inside my mind and tell myself I am brave. I am loving. I am kind. I bet Schubert would love to say that every day. So Ice wanted you to know that he still had to use his safe place this week. And he wanted to know, did you have to use yours too, boys and girls? Yeah, I thought so. Lots of times we're all stuck together. We're doing our homework. We're getting frustrated or we're playing with our brothers and sisters and we get upset or angry over something. And he just wanted to remind you, it's okay to use that safe place and you might have to use it lots of times a day. Don't forget all your steps. First, I am going to the safe place. Then I come. Use your four kinds of breath, your star your drain, your balloon, or your pretzel. If you forget how to do them, you can re-watch Mrs. Eames' video. She did a great job showing us how to breathe. Then think about how you're feeling. After that, I choose, choose something to do. Maybe you wanna hug a pillow or read a book or breathe again. And then I solve. I saw some pictures this week of great ideas of how to solve a problem. One of my friends said she was going to play with dolls. That's a great way to solve your problem and take a break from work. So Ice just wants to remind you, the safe place is there to use anytime you want. And it will help you sometimes to go there first and then get ready to use your big voice. When we're really mad, and we use our big voice before we're calm, we might end up yelling or fighting. So Ice just wants to remind you, you might have to go to your safe place first and get calm before you try to use that big voice. And don't forget, you can use our finger breathing from our anxiety book. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot say, take a deep breath and blow it away. You could even add that poster if you made one or that hand into your safe place. This could be something you do to solve your problem or to calm. And remember, today is a new day. I will have a great start. I will listen to the voice inside my heart. I will let good thoughts inside my mind and tell myself I am brave, I am loving, I am kind. And I put a picture of this rainbow there for you just because I love rainbows and how they remind me that even in a rainy, thundery, lightning storm that seems so bad and scary and makes me worry, something beautiful can happen at the end. It reminds me that when I have worries or I get upset, I can change it 
I have magic to make a rainbow out of the storm with my words. So here's an example of some courage cards. You don't have to print these out. All you need to do is get some paper and cut it up into any shape you like. Maybe rectangles, maybe hearts, maybe you want to do circles and you can write any times this week you have courage especially if you have courage to use your big voice like schubert and solve a problem so as always boys and girls i'm ending with my favorite slide you are safe you can handle this remember to star stop and smile take a breath and relax and this week i have a video from cosmic zenden called yes you can all about using your breathing to help you feel confident and have courage to do things boys and girls i'm so excited that people are watching my videos and some of you are sending pictures it really makes me happy inside and i feel like you're wishing me well when you hit that turned in button or mark is done or you send me a picture and i just want you to know that i am wishing you well and i am sending all of my love and well wishes through here i go oh i hope you caught them and put them in your heart i miss you please be safe until next week